Welcome to Chin Limitless. I am Benjamin, Regional Applications Marketing Manager of Chin Asia Pacific. And today I will be sharing about the data center industry. So let us start with the common understanding and definitions of what a data center is and the role that it plays in modern life and businesses. Previously, when it comes to data center, Perhaps what has come to your mind is like a computer room or server equipment rooms that happen to be in schools or companies. But with the rapid development of societal demands, and that has affected all aspects of people's clothing, food, housing and transportation. And this has really given the data center a new definition. It can be a room. It can be certain areas within a building. A data center can even be an entire building or even an entire industrial park. And in some cases, even just a prefabricated containerized solution. So why should you pay attention to this market? The scale of internet penetration and the infrastructure needed to support this growth has been growing steadily, as you can see on the graph. And even in recent times, in the last two to three years, due to the pandemic, this has even grown exponentially. Knowledge workers working from home, having e-meetings, using digital banking services, meeting friends and families online, playing video games, or watching e-learnings and webinars just like this one here, they all require data center and connective infrastructure services. So the data center is formed by four layers, starting from the top layer, the IT software layer, where there are cloud applications, operating systems, and other software that can be utilized. And these are softwares like Manufacturing Execution System, MES, Enterprise Resource Planning, ERP, etc. All these software is supported next by the IT hardware services layer, like server, routers, hard disk storage devices. And in order to power, cool, and maintain the operations of this IT hardware is the facility layer made up of electrical and mechanical equipment. These include transformers, switch gears, and crack. These ensure that the above now all operate at optimal efficiency and equipment lifespan as they are all expensive and critical infrastructure. And right at the bottom, supporting all these are the final infrastructure layer. They are the civil infrastructure, electrical grid, and security systems such as fire and theft security. So with these layers covered, the level of protection and the number of equipment redundancy all adds up and they all form different classifications of data centers. Recently, we attended the China Data Center Committee CDCC Summit that was held in Beijing. And wow, there are now so many different classifications of data centers. What I'm showing here are just four mainstream ones. Firstly, data centers can be classified by the number of racks. A hyperscale data center has more than 10,000 racks. Or data centers can be classified by its transformer capacity. Again, hyperscale is defined as more than 20,000 kVA. It can also be classified by maximum load, and more commonly, it is classified by the tier level. Tier 1, 2, 3, and 4. And these are all down to the availability. 99.671%, for example, is a tier 1, a very basic data center, and it has an annual downtime of up to maximum 28.8 hours, just under a day. Whereas all the way to a tier 4 data center where the availability is 99.995%, also known as 5 nines or even 6 nines in some markets, it has an annual downtime of less than a quarter of an hour. Tier 1 to tier 4 is defined by the Uptime Institute and is adopted by most countries. China has our own national code and our level C equals to tier 1, level B1 equals to tier 2, and level A is equivalent to a tier 4 data center and the comparison table is shown as below. The key for each level is the availability as mentioned earlier. For a tier 4 data center, the annual downtime is up to 0.4 hours, which means in a 365 days, just 24 minutes of downtime. In order to achieve such high availability, data center equipment has its own high requirements for continuity and reliability. It should also have redundancy and fault tolerances that are very different to other industries. At the first sight, you might be attracted by the number 1.3 in the middle. What is 
it is in fact the best in class in terms of resource efficiency to achieve for a data center. For example, in Singapore, new data centers in fact have to achieve a PUE of 1.3 and below. And what does PUE stands for? It is the per power usage effectiveness and is traditionally lower in cooler climates where air conditioning levels required are lesser. The pie chart notes down the usual energy consumptions broken down into the different loads within a data center. IT loads traditionally and normally take up to 50% and we can see why achieving anything less than PUE of 2 is challenging and requires new solution. Other characteristics for example is that electricity expenses accounts for up to 50% of the running costs of a data center and so it's very important to be very energy efficient. Knowing the market, concepts, and trends of data centers, I will now introduce the role of Chin that we are able to perform in the data center industry. A data center has many stakeholders, and we can work with many of them depending on what the roles the customers need us to play. We can be both a component supplier to equipment integrators, system makers, or we could be equipment integrators ourselves. Browsing through, Chin has an extensive range that is suited for the demanding requirements of a data center. And definitely do reach out to your product managers and we can share more on the specific areas where we can offer to your customers. Here are some of the equipments that we can provide in the MV equipment range. And in the next slide, here we are showing off our low voltage solutions. The typical structure of power supply and distribution in our data center is for example 2N plus 1, 2N, N plus 1, where N represents the required power and the number around it represents the amount of backup. Usually the power supply is powered by the grid. There are plenty of advantages, it is safe, reliable and relatively low cost. But everyone knows that the equipment in a data center is running 24 hours of day and in case of power failure or on the main line or a power outage caused by any maintenance and unplanned maintenance, this will have a big impact on the data center and this is no small loss. Therefore, we need a stable and reliable backup power supply and the ba backup power supply needs to be switched on quickly and keep up with the demands. Level A or Tier 4 level data center requires the power supply and distribution systems to have very high level of fault tolerances and therefore the basic configuration is already two mains. The UPS and the diesel generators also have some form of redundancy. The data center of B level or tier, two, tier 3 and tier 2 level data center requires the power di supply and distribution systems to also have some level of redundancy to allow for online maintenance functions. Basic configurations are as seen on the slides. Do feel free to reach out to us and we can definitely discuss further. Now, instead of just showing you solutions without application, I now move on into sharing with you a case study where Chin provided a complete prefabricated containerized UPS solution. And we call this project Project X. In Project X, we delivered the ring main unit, transformer, containerized UPS, and with all the low voltage distribution switchboard integrated into it and finally also a specially designed power distribution unit for our customer. We provided the customer a complete end-to-end -end experience. Working with them during the design phase, we were able to comply to the specifications and requirements that they needed. With the strong support of our teammates in the logistics department and the manufacturing team, we were definitely able to meet the delivery timeline needed by our customers so that they can start operations as soon as possible. During the startup and commissioning phase, we were there to partner them and to ensure that the starting up and connections were all smooth sailing. Now, I'd like to share on a couple of low voltage solutions that are favorable for the data center customers. Firstly, these are the MB1 circuit breakers with a H indication. These are installed within the PDU power distribution unit for the outgoing circuit. They have a high braking capacity of 15 kA and also a D-curve protection to ensure full selectivity. Next is Chin's whole range of search arresters that are suitable for the domestic and industrial applications as well. In a data center, 
These are used to protect the electrical system from lightning and other instantaneous over voltage events. It also has remote signaling function which can be connected to most data center infrastructure management systems or DSIM for short. It has been a long presentation and we will leave the specifics to the respective product managers and also links to our website to all the different spec sheets. We can definitely also have a separate discussion to share more on how to apply these solutions that we have presented above for your customers' needs. Come and join us. Let's create possibilities this season.